Disney is home to classic character archetypes, but out of all their archetypes, the most flexible may be the sidekick. These characters are in almost every film, but they change the depiction greatly between them. They can be animal, human, good, evil, smart, stupid. The Disney sidekick is a very malleable archetype, but of Disney's catalog of sidekicks, which are the strongest and which are the weakest? Hey guys, I'm Brad with Wicked Binge, and this is Disney Sidekicks, weak to powerful. For today's list, we'll be starting off with the weaker sidekicks and then work our way up to the strongest. The gold medal of weakness goes to Frozen's Olaf. While this snowman might be one of the most loved and recognizable sidekicks in all the Disney canon, a competent fighter he is not. Despite being created by Elsa's magic, Olaf doesn't have any real powers. Beyond that, he certainly isn't scaring anyone with those twigs he calls arms. Olaf is also the least durable sidekick out of anyone we will cover on this list. This is because, you know, he's a snowman. They aren't exactly known for being strong or sturdy. If enough force is applied against him or the temperature is hot enough, he's done for. As you can see, Olaf is unfortunately not gifted the best power set. If the temperature is not cold enough, he melts away. Even if it is though, his abilities aren't going to be getting him out of any trouble anytime soon. It is with a heavy heart that we have to give Olaf the unlucky distinction of being crowned the least powerful Disney sidekick. Some people are worth melting for. Maybe if he gets into a fight around Christmas, he'd fare better. The silver medal of weakness goes to Jiminy Cricket from Pinocchio. Although he's one of Disney's first sidekicks, he's far from being one of the strongest. Jiminy Cricket's one major bright spot is that he's wise. If he's in a tense situation, it's likely he could assess everything and come up with a good strategy to escape. Escape would be his only viable plan because anything else would result in certain doom. Jiminy Cricket is, of course, a cricket. These beings are not known for being fierce fighters in general, let alone the insect kingdom. In a one-on-one -on -one battle between any of the succeeding characters, Jiminy Cricket would be gone in seconds. As sad as it is to say, Jiminy Cricket really doesn't have much of a leg to stand on. Wisdom can only get you so far in a test of strength, and in the case of Cricket, it looks to have only gotten him to our second spot. Wrapping up the bottom three is Gus and Jacques from Cinderella. The winners of our bronze medal weakness, Gus and Jacques, are a pair of mice that act as Cinderella's friends. The two are very different in personality, which gives them the interesting dynamic. Gus is dim-witted and feisty, while Jacques is smart and fast on his feet. They're good at outsmarting a few other animals like the family cat Lucifer. Though their stature is small, they are rather clever, thanks in no small part to Jacques' skills at strategizing. Unfortunately, Jacques and Gus are no match for humans, a fact that they're completely aware of in the film. Given that there's a few human and near-human characters on this list, we can't put Jacques and Gus over any of them. Besides that, Gus and Jacques' differing personalities could also cause for some trouble communicating on the battlefield. Gus's penchant for punching could quickly get both him and Jacques into trouble, and there may be no way out of it. Gus and Jacques might have the strength of two, but there's only so much strength that can come from mice, be they two or two hundred. However, we would like to confirm that mice do eat crickets. Watch out, Jiminy. Up next is Disney's most famous sidekick of all time, Tinkerbell. Hailing from the original Peter Pan, it might surprise a lot of you to see such a notable character be so relatively low on the list. Let us explain ourselves. Tinkerbell is a fairy, so you'd expect her to have a pretty wide assortment of powers, right? We assume the same, but when you examine her character, she really doesn't bring a lot to that table. Tinkerbell has the ability of flight, she can give others flight via pixie dust, and she can mend items like kettles. Certainly more powers than anyone else has had so far, but it's not impressive when you're looking for legitimate strength. Like Jiminy Cricket, Tink's only realistic solution when in a fight would be to flee. And just like Cricket, she can only run for so long before she is caught. Overall, Tinkerbell has more actual powers than any character on the list yet, but what good is that when you can be taken out by a handy fly swatter? Sorry Tink, but you're gonna need more than pixie dust if you want to join the big leagues. Next is Sebastian the Crab from The Little Mermaid. Sebastian is complicated, surprisingly enough. For the most part, Sebastian is a kind-hearted crab who loves the sea. He's loyal to those he cares about and will do anything in his power to keep them safe. Though he isn't much of a fighter in the film, real-life crabs actually do pack quite a punch. Those claws of his, they actually pinch harder than the bites of most animals. 
Bet you never thought that Sebastian had such strength. This gives him more actual strength than any of the previous sidekicks, but we can't justify putting Sebastian any higher. He's not exactly a guy fit for combat. He's the type of person who would rather resolve issues diplomatically and leave fighting for actual fighters. With that type of mindset, we can't see Sebastian making it far in a fight, unless we forget the small fact that he's just a crab. They may have a crazy strong pinch, but they're not a creature that's gonna be chasing you off the beach anytime soon. We've looked at animals, fairies, and even snowmen. But what about living houseware? Next is Lumiere and Cogsworth of Beauty and the Beast. A candelabra and clock respectively, Lumiere and Cogsworth are probably causing a lot of you to scratch your heads in confusion. How could a clock be more powerful than, say, a fairy? It may be surprising to hear, but Lumiere and Cogsworth are the first characters on this list to actually been in some sort of fight. They helped fight off the horde of villagers that invaded the Beast Castle, and were actually successful in keeping them away. Since they have some fighting experience, we have to put them over prior characters, who lack that component. We must also mention that the two are actually humans. They were only houseware because of a curse put onto them. Although it's unlikely they have that much strength as humans, these forms would give them an immediate advantage over the preceding sidekicks. What could a cricket or a pair of mice possibly do against two humans? Nothing. And that's why Lumiere and Cogsworth get this spot on the list. He's the guardian of lost souls, presenting the powerful, the pleasurable, the indestructible Mushu. Mushu is the guardian to Mulan. Mushu is a Chinese dragon that controls fire. That sounds like it makes him a pretty powerful character, but his fire-breathing ability is, how shall we say, puny? This on you! This on your cow! It's certainly not very powerful to say the least, and his size, he's not much bigger than a lizard, sadly. On the brighter side of things, Mushu appears to be completely invincible. He can withstand being stepped on, explosions, and all other matter of peril without even a scratch. Mushu also has the advantage of being in battles beforehand, much like Lumiere and Cogsworth. He was in many of the film's action sequences and even played a vital role in defeating the film's villain, Shan Yu. So if Mushu is more or less immortal, why isn't he higher? In short, he can take a lot, but he can't really dish out much in return. Being immortal is undoubtedly a powerful ability to have, but we're looking at strength above anything else. Besides a measly, fire-breathing ability, Mushu doesn't have much to use against his opponents. He'd be hard to keep down, but he himself would have just as hard of a time actually defeating someone. In a nutshell, that's why Mushu gets this spot on the list. He talks a big game, but he doesn't quite back it up. Next is the Seven Dwarves. Doc, Grumpy, Happy, Sleepy, Dopey, Sneezy, and Bashful. Right from the get-go, they have the benefit of strength and numbers on their side. One of these guys on their own would not be so powerful, but put seven of them together, we think they'd definitely be capable of doing some damage. Aside from that, we can assume they have some pretty good strength, due in no small part to their days working in the diamond mines. Ultimately, however, we feel the seven dwarves have just as many weaknesses as they have positives. That's why they fit here. For one, several of the dwarves aren't really fit for fighting. While Grumpy would have no problem throwing hands, we can't bring ourselves to say the same for someone like Sleepy. We also feel they're just simply outclassed by the remaining entries. We're definitely in the upper echelon of powerful Disney sidekicks, and the seven dwarves would have to try pretty hard to compete with some of the characters yet to come. They might have given the evil queen some trouble, but the following characters, not so much. Next are the breakout stars of The Lion King, Timon and Pumbaa. They might not seem like the most capable pair of characters, but when you look at their real-life counterparts, they suddenly become a lot more impressive. Before we do that, though, let's look at what they actually accomplished in the film. They were able to give the hyenas a run for their money in the climax. Not only does this give them the advantage of having been in fights before like our previous two entries, but it also shows that they have a lot of courage. If there's any wild animal we wouldn't want to be around, it's definitely the hyenas. But for Timon and Pumbaa, they didn't just encounter them, they fended them off. In the animal kingdom, meerkats may look cute, but they can become agitated rather easily. When that happens, they'll resort to biting or using their claws. While neither of these are all that strong, they aren't pleasant to experience either. It's clear that Pumbaa would do a lot of heavy lifting here. Warthogs can adapt to new challenges skillfully, and they are surprisingly fast. When in a fight, their sharp tusks can leave the opponent seriously injured. The only real weakness a warthog has is a weak eyesight, though that is actually negated by the meerkat having a ridiculously strong pair of eyes. As unlikely as it sounds, Timon and Pumbaa are one of the most powerful duos on this list. They might look cute, but don't let that fool you. Sometimes even the most lovable Disney animal sidekicks can pack a punch. 
Next is the lovable alligator from The Princess and the Frog, Lewis. Lewis is a lot like Sebastian when it comes to abilities. He's entirely capable of dishing out pain, but he seldom does it. It's only when his friends are in danger that he really starts to put matters into his own hands. While that could lead to some pain from a crab, that would be far more dangerous coming from an alligator. Alligators have one of the strongest bites out of any animal there is. It's even possible for their bites to break steel. This makes Lewis one of the most dangerous animal sidekicks we've covered today. Unfortunately, that's where his problems begin. While he possesses phenomenal strength, believing Lewis would take advantage of that is a completely different story. He's very fearful, and as we said earlier, only takes an active role in conflict when his friends are in trouble. If he's in a fight where he isn't worried about his friends, things might not go so well. Lewis has a powerful set of jaws, but his cowardly persona holds him back from being one of the top sidekicks. Next are the Gargoyles from The Hunchback of Notre Dame. Victor, Hugo, and Laverne. Those are their names, and protecting Quasimodo is their game. Being made of stone, they are given a big advantage over other contestants on this list. Their stone bodies are very durable, letting them take punches a lot better than a human would. This also means any punches they throw would be extremely painful for the receiver. Also, unlike some of the more cowardly contestants we've looked at, the gargoyles would have no issue fighting others. As the film's climax showed, the gargoyles played an instrumental role in the final battle throwing bricks and firestone at Frollo's many troops. That's something you wouldn't see from Sebastian. The only reason we don't rank them higher is because, simply put, the rest of the list has more going on. The other characters we'll cover have many more skills and powers, making these gargoyles look rather lacking in comparison. But that doesn't mean Victor, Hugo, and Laverne aren't competent sidekicks. If you ever find yourself in Notre Dame, this trio will have your back. Next are Pain and Panic from Hercules. To describe them, they are basically a souped-up version of Mushu. They're small and immortal, like him, but they also have the added power of shape-shifting. It seems like there are no limits to what they can transform into. While the two cannot stay in these forms forever, they can turn into seemingly anything their minds conjure up. So if they can turn into anything, and they appear to be immortal, why aren't they higher on the list? Well, that's because Pain and Panic are anything but competent. They repeatedly fail to complete the many tasks Hades gives them. And can you really be powerful if you fail to take out a baby? Given that they're some of the dumber characters on our list, this cost them a higher spot in our rankings. We can only imagine Hades will not be happy to hear that. Another evil sidekick is Kronk from The Emperor's New Groove. Kronk is a lot like Pain and Panic, and we don't just mean the way they are both sidekicks to the villain. They're both dim-witted and they can't take out the protagonist. However, when we put both side to side, we feel Kronk has a better set of brawns and brains. Kronk has nearly superhuman strength, making him the most physically powerful human on the entire list. The guy can travel a mountain with the seat tied to his back. How can we not give him props for that? Though he can be foolish, Kronk actually does possess some intelligence, at least for an evil sidekick. He points out flaws in Yzma's plans, for example. Kroc might not have a strong bite or immortality, but his strength more than makes up for those shortcomings. He's not afraid to use it either, unlike some prior sidekicks. Besides, who else here can make spinach puffs? For all those reasons, we have to place Kroc in fourth place. The bronze medal of power goes to Robin Hood's Little John. Little John is a bear who acts as Robin Hood's friend, and has more than a passing resemblance to Baloo. Lil John is certainly a friendly fellow, but that doesn't stop him from being one of the most strongest sidekicks there is. First off, he's a bear. They're pretty well known for being very dangerous creatures. On average, one bear has the strength of five humans, so he's definitely a force to be reckoned with. Bears are already intimidating, but how about a bear that does archery? Yeah, Lil John has an impressive arsenal at his disposal, giving him an advantage over most characters. He's skilled at archery, he's used a dagger, and even a staff. Little John has also handled himself well in fights, even taking on Prince John's rhino guards and emerging the victor. With good strength, brains, and prior fighting experience, Little John is proof that the only thing scarier than a bear is a bear in medieval clothing. The Silver Medal of Power goes to Baymax from Big Hero 6. You have been a good boy. Have a lollipop. Come on, in what world would Baymax not be in the top five? Being a robotic superhero, Baymax has a most impressive range of abilities and tools for him to use. First, he can lift well over a thousand pounds at any given time. Baymax is also very intelligent. He can assess situations quickly, giving him one of the better minds out of all the characters we've analyzed today. 
However, Baymax's true power lies in his red battle armor. With this, his arsenal grows to become even more powerful. The armor, of course, gives him much more protection than when he's outside of it. The suit also lets him fly, which he can use to move quickly across the battlegrounds. Additionally, it can allow him to track beings, which is a huge advantage when in a fight with somebody. Trying to hide? That's not going to be super helpful when Baymax is around. Lastly, the suit has a set of rocket fists, which are very powerful when used against opponents. Baymax is easily one of the most powerful sidekicks to come out of the entire Disney canon. He's got everything from strength to smarts to weapons. There's only one who could possibly be a match for him. The gold medal of power goes to the often imitated but never duplicated Genie from Aladdin. It seems like a no-brainer that Genie would be the most powerful Disney sidekick of them all. Genie has his weaknesses, but there are pretty few. When giving wishes, he cannot kill, raise the dead, or force someone to marry. He's also affected by items that can affect magic in general. Beyond that, however, Genie's power appears to be limitless. If there's anything else you want, all you have to do is wish for it and Genie will make it a reality. Even after being granted freedom, he still has an insane amount of power that he is free to use. In a nutshell, Genie can do anything prior characters could do, but better. He's seemingly immortal. He can transform, he can fight. The only limit is imagination. With an almost endless array of abilities, it would be criminal if we were to place Genie anywhere else on this list but at the top. And with all that said, we have to call Genie the most powerful Disney sidekick of all time. All right, guys, that's the powerful list. Let us know in the comments section if you agree with our ranking. And tell us what we should cover next. Remember to hit that notification bell and binge our Good to Evil playlist, where we break down who the most powerful characters are in your favorite cartoons, shows, and movies. But most importantly, stay wicked.